All right, good morning, guys. This is literally the earliest I've been up in so long. It's 7.30 in the morning, and we're up because we are taking Kirby to the vet today to get her spay. So no corgi baby, sadly. But it's a good thing on her. She's gonna stop bleeding on her periods. In case you guys didn't know, like me, dogs do get periods every single six months or something. Right, babe? Yeah, she's a vet assistant. In case you guys didn't know, we're actually taking it to her vet, which is pretty cool. But I'm making breakfast right now. A little egg and croissant sandwich while she's having her muffin. Let's see if I can crack this with one hand. Oh, still got it, baby. Oh yeah, check the edit. Guys, if you guys don't already do this, soy sauce on egg, superior. Ain't no better way to do it. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. All right, quick taste test. Hmm. That hits the spot, guys. Time to start up the Evo. First try. Nice and easy. Ready? Uh, oh, if only this thing wasn't so quiet, guys. Okay, it's getting louder. <laughs> I'm not excited. <laughs> I bet you aren't. I have a lot of anxiety for this. All right, guys. Say good luck to Kirby. Where are you going? <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> She's like, I'm wondering. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> she knows <laughs> get me away from here good luck today i'll see you later hopefully the surgery goes well okay bye guys all right time for me to go on my little adventure i finally get to work on the evil today we're gonna be slapping on some new coilovers and get this thing riding nice in case you guys don't know it's riding on some max speeding rods right now and those are literally the worst and cheapest coilovers out there it's cheaper than racelands bro it's like the aliexpress of coilovers <laughs> we finally get to do this thing some justice gotta start off the morning right with a little pull boys I went ahead and moved out the s13 and put the Evo in the garage and we also got to address this today the lift is just hanging loose <laughs> that's terrible y'all want to see how badly this thing needed new coils check this out rear quarter panels <laughs> look at that it's so fucked. the suspension is so bad that it causes the wheel to rub and it's pulling the inside layer of the quarter panel so we definitely need to roll that today and look at that it's gashing through the tires super bad like that is awful but thankfully we're gonna be addressing that issue today since i'm gonna be daily driving this car i sold my ford ranger so no more pickup truck as a daily we got the fun daily now and the coils we're gonna be installing on this car today are these we got these brand new bc racing coilovers with custom spring rates i'm so excited to slap this on and see how this drives compared to the $200 coilovers that are on the car. Okay, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's unbox the new coils. Fresh new coilovers from BC Racing. I went ahead and went with the 8K spring rates in the rears and 10K spring rates in the fronts. Okay, I know you guys are probably wondering, Derek, why did you go with BC Racing and not other brands like Fortune Auto or Tien or Olin's and stuff like that? I've had Olin's before on my S2K. They rode great, but they're $2,200. I've also had 326 coilovers and they rode great, 
but they were also around two grand. But these are about a thousand dollars shift if you go through a vendor. I usually go through Team Mod Garage or Blacklist Motorsports on Instagram. So hit them up if you guys need any parts, they should be able to get it for you for a cheaper price. I've had great experience with BC racing coilovers before. They ride great for the price. And these aren't cheaply made like max speeding rods. Sure, they're not top of the line, but they get the job done for sure. So if you guys are looking for coilovers to get for your car and your budget is around $1,000, I recommend these. All right, time to get this car on some jack stands. Y'all, check out the current struts that are in it. These are max speeding rod coils. Like I said before, really cheap, $200. And they're already starting to rust around the threaded area. And that's no bueno. Not only do these squeak, clunk, make all types of noises, but if I wanted to adjust them, that would not be possible because they're probably seized by now because of all the rust. There we go. We got both bolts out. We took out the trash, baby. Y'all wanna see how I feel about these? <laughs> Garbage. Wait, 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 before we throw them out, let's do a quick comparison for you guys. Cheap Chinese garbage. <laughs> Never mind, these are probably Chinese too, but just not as cheap. Versus BC Racing Coils. $200, $1,000. $200, $1,000. These are properly coated everywhere. We got a better finish. And this feels a lot heavier than this. This just feels like cheap junk. Okay, we got both the bolts out. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Y'all, I swear, working on my car never goes right. I literally just took off the struts and my fucking axle popped out. So now I got fluid spewing all out of the car through the axle. Oh my God. I fucking hate my life. All right, boys, I finally got the axle back in, but we lost a whole lot of freaking fluid. And I don't know if this is a good thing, but I can like pull the axle in and out like that, but it's completely flush with the end. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but <laughs> we'll worry about it in a bit. I'm gonna put the new struts on so that it could hold the knuckle in place so it won't push the axle in and out. And then I can lift up the car some more and actually look under the car and see what's happening. Cause if I were to jack up the car right now, the axle would just fall off cause there's nothing holding up the knuckle. Both front struts are on. Let's go ahead and get started on the rears. Now the rears are what I hate. I hate suspension like this. Suspension where the struts are connected to the lower control arms, it makes it so much harder. I really like how the S14 suspension is. All the S chassis suspension, the strut just bolts right into the hub and it makes it so easy. You just have to remove one bolt versus this. I might have to take out this and this just to take out the struts. But who knows, maybe it'll be a lot easier than I thought <laughs> or a lot harder than I thought. We shall find out. Oh, fuck. Oh, that came out easier than I thought. Looks like I don't have to take off the lower control arms anyways. Come on. There we go. All right, we got both of the rear struts in just in time because my friend just dropped off some gear oil for me so we can start filling up the transfer case or differential, whatever you want to call it. And I bought this little pump thing so we can actually drive this thing home today. All right, let's go ahead and fill this up 
and then we can get to the fun part which is dialing in the suspension we might have to end up slamming this hoe if it permits because I know the wheels are a little bit pokey let's try to figure something out my god I'm so confused guys so I'm taking out the fill plug right with all the oil that's on the ground you would expect nothing to come out of the fill plug but check this out look at that it's still dripping so maybe I'm thinking Whoever changed the oil last put in too much oil, which is a good thing for me because that means I don't have to fill anything up. But that sounds suspicious because of how much oil came out. And I think the transmission fluid and the transfer case fluid is the same on this Evo. Okay guys, I was completely wrong. So the transfer case fill area is on the passenger side and it's right there. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that one up. I think when I take this off, no fluid's gonna come out, but crossing my fingers, that's right. Because if it's not that, then I don't know what else it could be. Oh, oh my god. This is in an even tighter area. What the fuck? I want a word with whoever tightened this. I did nothing! It said I stripped it! Oh my god. Y'all, this is a fucking disaster. Okay, come on. Oh my god. Who the hell put this in? And I can't even fit my impact in there. We're about to use this jack to push the ratchet since it's at an awkward angle. I'm gonna snap this fucking ratchet. If this don't work, I don't know what else I can do. Oh, we're sending it. Oh, did it work? Hey, hey, we did it! We fucking did it! What the fuck? We fucking did it! Oh my god! Oh my god, y'all! That actually worked. I was about to give up. I was about to just go eat my sorrows away as Chick Fil A or somewhere. Okay. Please no oil come out of here. Please. If oil comes out of here, I'm literally about to cry. Oh, let's fucking go. We did it. <laughs> okay, time to fill this thing up. We want as much in there as possible. Oh, fuck, it's coming out. No, no. Since I literally can't pump any more fluid in both the transmission side and the TK side, I'm gonna assume that the TK's and or transmission was overfilled to begin with because I'm doing everything right, I'm pumping through the fill, and they say pump until fluid starts coming out, but you guys saw hell of fluid started coming out. So I'm just gonna put this drain plug on and drive with it. If it makes any noise, then I'll deal with it later, but I think we should be good. And I called up my homie Hanson. He's worked with Evos before, and he said I should be chilling. So I took this off for no reason, basically. So I'm getting ready to roll my fenders, and then I realize there's a fucking spacer in the rears. Why would you put a spacer so that the wheels poke out to the point where it starts rubbing? <laughs> what the fuck? I really don't get why the owner decided to do this, but we're gonna go ahead and take off the spacer and this should sink the wheels in a little bit farther so we don't poke out as much. We're still gonna go ahead and roll the fender so that it's nice and flat in case we ever wanna run more aggressive wheels. Just finished rolling the quarter panels and it looks so much better. I went ahead and touched up all the exposed metal from rubbing with some nail polish and I maxed out the rear struts. I forgot that these aren't the BC low max. So this is as low as it goes. I'm going to put some wood blocks on the wheels, drop the car, and let's see how it looks. But already, look at that. That's super flush compared to before. But before it was sticking out like half an inch, it was like maxi flush. So I'm glad we got that sorted. Hopefully when I lower the car, it tucks in perfectly and doesn't rub. All right, baby, come on. Bro, y'all tell me, is this gonna clear? That's super tight right here. Oh my God. Dude, that looks so good. <laughs> this looks so good. Oh my God. I don't know if it's gonna clear though. 
Do I risk it and run it like this? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and play it safe. I bought these coils so that I don't have rubbing issues and terrible ride quality. So <laughs> I think I can't slam this thing too much and end up with the same thing. We're gonna raise it about half an inch so we can get a finger up in there. All right, y'all, I got all the wheels on. I am so defeated. I have been here <laughs> since 8 a.m. and it's like five o'clock already and I haven't had any food. I think I deserve a muffin before we drop the car on the ground. <laughs> Mm. That was well deserved. All right, it's finally time to drop this thing on the ground so we can see what it looks like. But before we do that, go down below. Give this video a huge thumbs up for me. It means so much to me. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Okay, let's do this. Ready? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, the rears is looking way better. I did not think it will be like this. Look at that, I can barely fit in two fingers. It's more of like a one finger gap. And then the fronts. Same thing, can barely fit two fingers. It's like a one finger gap. I'd say I did a pretty good job eyeballing it. All right, I'm gonna pull outside and choose some cinematics for you guys before it gets dark. And we're gonna do a little test drive to see if there's any clunking, anywhere noises with the suspension and or the transmission. <laughs> Okay, I hope you guys can see this, but I went ahead and raised it real quick by half an inch all around, and now it shouldn't rub. We got a two finger gap all around the car. All right, I gotta zoom home and pick up Kirby and Cheryl. I'm already running late, so I'll update you guys when we're back at home. All right guys, I am now home, and look at who made it back home. Kirby! Hello! She had a successful surgery. She's a little drugged out right now, so. <laughs> Look, listen to her. Yeah, Kirby. <laughs> so she needs a lot of love and attention right now, but it's okay. She gets to have lots of love and attention for like the next few weeks. But check out what Cheryl's doing right now. She is making tote bags with the embroidery machine we bought not too long ago. And check it out. We're making prototypes for the new clothing brand that we're dropping. Look at that, pink and purple like the S13. That was totally my idea. That was my idea. <laughs> but look how good that looks. Oh, babe, once this finishes, we should flip it over and show them, <laughs> show them how the first one was. I was literally about to rip my hair because I was so frustrated. It took her like an hour to do the other side and it was pretty bad, not gonna lie. But this one's turning out pretty good. Oh, the machine just finished up. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that looks fire for some DIY. Oh my God, that's fire. And we still have to trim up some of the, the stitching, but I think that'll turn out cute. Finished product. All right, babe, 
Rock it real quick. This oh, side? shit. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mmm. Look how cute. Okay, okay. Now I'll show them the after. <laughs> Way better. Flip it in. Flip it in. This is before. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this is so fucked up. But we got it nailed down. Look at that. That's pretty clean. Great job, babe. Thanks. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video right here. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you guys made it to the end, I appreciate y'all. Thank you for the support. Man, I did not expect today to go how it did. I thought the install would take like an hour tops. And then shit just went south. But we got it done. The car is driving great. It wasn't rubbing afterwards. We raised the car the perfect amount. Now, next up is the wheels. We're going to get wheels that fit the car more so we can go ahead and slam this thing because it's a little bit monster truck right now. But until then, I get to drive her around and she won't be complaining about how low the car is. What? What are you doing? Tote bag? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess think. Y'all dig it? Oh, check this out. This is one of the blanks I'll be using for the merch. Look how nice this is. Look how tight the neck is. Ooh, nice so material. Disgusting. I washed them. <laughs> you should have seen them before. They were I basically did. black. <laughs> you couldn't see skin, okay? <laughs> Alright, y'all. Until next time. Peace out. Goodbye.